In this video, we will take a look at the insert operation in a binary search tree. So we are going to write the pseudocode along with an example. So our pseudocode or our algorithm is going to take in two things as input. First, it will take in the value which we must add to the binary search tree. Then we need to take in the tree itself to which we are adding. So first we have to have the value which we want to add to the tree. Then we must take the tree itself to which we are adding. So how do we take in the tree? We have to give the root because from the root all other nodes of the tree can be accessed. So this is going to be what we are inputting to the algorithm. So let's start inserting into the binary search tree. So first let me insert a number equal to 3. So when I want to insert a number equal to 3, this is the first number I am going to insert into my tree. In that case, my root now, my tree, there is nothing in my tree. So my root is equal to null. In such a case, what we must do is, we must give that value to the root. So what is our first case? When we are inputting our first element into the tree, so we say if root is equal to null, then we say that the root is equal to new node with the data equal to value. Now I have set my root as having as being a node with the value equal to the value we want to input and from here we can return. So let's try to input another number. Let me say I want to input 1. So first I go to insert, I have 1 as my value and 3 as my root. Then what must I check? I want to know which side of 3 will 1 come to. 1 is less than 3, so I'll want to input it to the left subtree of 3. Now, I want to input 1 to the left of 3. So now I will check, is the space in the left of 3 free? Yes, there is nothing to the left of 3. So I can say that the left of 3 can be 1. So let's write that down. So first I'm checking if the root dot data is going to be greater than the value I want to input. In this case, it's so because 1 is less than 3. In that case, what must we do? In that case, I want to add it to the left subtree of 3. First, I will check if I can directly add it if there is space available to the left of 3. So, I'll check if root dot left is equal to null. In that case, that means I have space to input it to the left of 3. Then I say that root dot left is equal to new node with the value I want to input. So this is the case when I have space to the left of 3. Let's take another case. Suppose I want to input 2. So first what I do, I check whether 2 is less than 3. Yes, 2 is less than 3. So I want to input 2 somewhere to the left of 3. Now I check if the space to the left of 3 is free. No, the space to the left of 3 has already been occupied. In such a case, what must I do? I'll perform my input operation to the left subtree of 3. So I'll just call the insert operation once again and I will call it to the left subtree of 3. So how will I do that? I'm going to call my insert operation again and I will say I want the same value but this time I want to search for a space for it to be inserted somewhere to the left of 3. So I'm going to say value and where is my subtree going to be rooted? Root dot left. So let's see what happens then. 
So I am going to have my subtree as rooted at 1. Now I am going to check 1 is less than 2. In such a case, where do I want to input 2 with respect to 1? I will want to input 2 somewhere to the right of 1. So if my root dot data is going to be less than my value, then I will check whether there is space to the right of my root. So if root dot right is equal to null, then I say that root dot right is equal to new node with my value. So I have inserted 2 to the left of, uh, to the right of 1. So I take 2, there is no space to the left of 2, so I go and try to input somewhere in the left subtree of 3. So then I go to the left subtree of 3 rooted at 1. Then I check 2 is greater than 1, so I want to input it to the right of 1. There is space, so I can input it then. So now let's take another example. Suppose I want to input 5. So my root is 3. 5 is greater than 3. So there is space available to the right of 3. So I say I want to make that value equal to 5. Now let's say I want to input a number 6. So now I go to my insert operation. My value is 6 and my root of this tree is going to be 3. Then I compare 6 and 3. 6 is greater than 3. So I want to input 6 somewhere to the right of 3. I check if there is space to the right of 3. Right of 3 has already been occupied. So there is no space to the right of 3. So what must I do then? I will say insert 6 somewhere in the right subtree of 3. So then I will say insert this value somewhere. in the right subtree of 3. So now I have to insert 6 to the tree which is rooted at 5. Now 6 is going to be greater than 5. So I will have to insert to the right of 5. Is there space to the right of 5? Yes, there is space to the right of 5. So I can insert it here. Now it is important to note that when there is space and you can insert you don't want to continue with your program further because you have already inserted your element. So within the, whenever you find space, insert the element and you have to return. Only if you don't find space, you want to execute this insert operation. So in this way, we can write the algorithm to insert elements into a binary search tree.